Assalamualaikum and hello everyone Setelah sekian lama, back to the lecture video And in this lecture video, we will be focusing the new subtopic 4.3 Use of Control Structure Specifically, in this lecture, in this subtopic, I'm only going to cover one learning outcome in which stated at the end of the lesson you will be able to explain three types of programming errors syntax runtime and logic okay okay why we need to learn about error kenapa kita kena tahu pasal error ni baiklah fikir balik Komputer, sistem, program ni semua ni. Siapa yang write program? Siapa yang buat sistem? Kita lah kan? Kita, manusia sebagai programmer tu. Kita lah yang menulis sistem tu. Kita lah yang juga yang buat program tersebut. Betul tak? Tapi, kita tahu manusia ni tidak sempurna. Betul? We humans tends to make mistakes. And because of that... Berlakulah programming errors Dan programming errors ni adalah benda yang sangat common Benda yang sangat biasa Especially when it comes to nak buat program, nak buat sistem kan Bila kita buat programming Okay, so Error ni adalah How do I say this? Anything that causing malfunction or incorrect operation of our system or a program That is what we call error ha, Tu je lah maksud dia kan ha, Ataupun dalam kata formalnya You boleh baca dalam screen you sekarang ni Programming error is simply as uh, It simply is an error that occurs during development of a computer program Which can cause malfunction or incorrect operation of a computer system. Okay, ha, ni. saya dah highlight warna kuning ni. And, there are three types of error that you need to know. So, the first one is, we call it syntax error. So, it is an error that occurs when the code given does not follow the syntax rule of a programming language. It means that, when the syntax error happens, your program cannot be compiled and and it also cannot be run. So, maksudnya kat sini, syntax error ni adalah di mana berlaku bila kod kita yang ditulis tu tidak memenuhi syarat atau peraturan syntax rule ni. Ha, apa maksud ni? Contoh, you nak tulis, um, kita nak karang satu essay kan dalam bahasa Inggeris. Jadi kita ada kita tak ikut follow bahasa Inggeris tu iaitu grammar kan. Ah samalah juga macam programming. Kalau kita tak ikut grammar programming kita in which syntax kita tu, maka berlakulah syntax error. Dan syntax error ni menyebabkan kita punya statement ataupun kita punya program ni tak boleh compile dan tak boleh run. Okay? What is examples yang you boleh tengok? Kita misspell a statement ke Ataupun we use a variable before it has been declared And ni yang paling banyak sekali You all buat You tertinggal satu kali bracket Pasangan dia penutup dan pembuka uh, Pembuka dan penutup Okay, contoh kita boleh tengok Okay, let's say I have this one example here Input output example Okay, kita buka kan Okay, cuba tengok di sini seperti yang kita telah maklum, kan? Okay, dalam um, dalam BlueJ ni, ha, dia very friendly because sebelum you nak tekan compile pun, you dah tahu dah nampak error dia, kan? So, bila kita tekan compile, si kita tak boleh run sebab ada error. So, kita tengok apa yang error ni. Ha, so, ni error dia, kita salah tulis. Kita tak, kita melanggar peraturan syntax dia in which kita patut tulis public. Ha, public. Okay, compile. Eh, ada error lagi. Kat mana lagi? Ha, cari, cari, cari. Okay. So, this is basically a simple program that used to test input and output. So, apa normally common um yang you selalu buat kat sini? Ha, cuba tengok. BlueJ ni, dia sangat friendly because dia dah bagi tahu dah apa yang you tertinggal. So, dia maksudkan ni, oh, you tertinggal satu lagi. Kali. Bracket. Nah, then tengah compile. Ada masalah? Oh, ada juga. Apa pula kali ni? Dia kata undeclared variable. Inilah yang dikatakan 
Yang example tadi tu, kita cuba guna satu variable tanpa kita declare terlebih dahulu. Jadi apa nak kena buat ni? Kita kena declare lah SC. SC ni apa? SC ni adalah objek kepada scanner class kita. Ha, tu, saya declare. So SC, scanner SC equals to new scanner in bracket system dot in. Dah, settle. Agak-agak boleh compile tak? Ha, mari kita try. Nah, so dah tak ada dah syntax error. Nampak ayat ni kat bawah ni? Syntax error. So itulah yang dikatakan dengan syntax error. Okay. Next, we look on the second type of error. In which, runtime error. So, what is runtime error? Runtime error is an error that occurs when a program with no syntax error ask a computer to do something that the computer is unable to reliably do. What does it mean? It means that your statement now can be compiled. However, it cannot be run. Apa maksud runtime error ni? Runtime error ni di mana berlaku ketika you nak run you punya program. Okay. So, statement you sekarang ni, syntax dah tak ada masalah. Okay. Maksudnya dah boleh compile. Dah, tetapi dia masih tak boleh run. Apa examples dia? For examples, you try to divide a variable with value 0 or you trying to insert input in which data type is not match with the data type set in the program. Mari kita tengok satu contoh eh. Back to our program tadi. Okay, ini kan input output example. So right now, okay. Tak tahu lah you nampak ke tak. Okay, I make it bigger for you. So, our code here, kita okay, cuba baca kejap code ni dan fahamkan. So, kita ada import statement, import java, bila kita ada class, input output example and main method. So, now we have this scanner sc, which is sc is our object for scanner class. And we have this user-friendly message asking to enter the name. Okay, so bila kita compile, tengok tak ada masalah, no syntax error. However, so bila kita compile code kita ni, tak ada syntax error kan? Okay, then kita cuba try a run. Tengok apa jadi. So, first thing first, the program asks us to enter our name. So, let's say we put our name lah, which is Fatin. Okay, and then H. H, just now we asked to insert integer, right? What happens if I put this number? Or maybe I put a text in which um, 8, for example. E-I-G-T-H. And then suddenly, this happened. So, there will be error happens. So, contoh error inilah yang you nampak ni kan. Java.util ni, input mismatch exception. This is what we call it, runtime error. Okay? And then last but not least is, we call it logic error. So, logic error is errors is an error that occurs in the way of a program works. It means that the program can still run. As normal, however, it doesn't give uh, output or it doesn't do what it what it is expected to do. Pemaksudnya logic error ni, okay, logic error ni itu bermaksud kita punya statement atau kita punya program tadi dah boleh compile. Maksudnya dah tak ada syntax error dan dia boleh juga run, no runtime error. However, okay, kita punya program tu displaying the wrong message. Ataupun kita minta program kita tu untuk divide sesuatu nombor, tapi Dia pergi keluarkan hasil multiply. So, apa maksud nak kata kat sini ni? So, nak katanya logic error ni kebiasaannya di, 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 di apa, puncanya adalah programmer tu sendiri. It means that it comes for us as programmer. Maybe we uh, write our code not in a right way. Uh, kurang tepat kan? So, Logic error ni is very difficult to detect logic error ni because since our code can compile and run so automatic we assume that our program doesn't have any error. However, the only way for us to detect whether we have logic error or not, we check our output. So, nak kata kat sini, tiada jalan lain, tiada cara lain untuk kita nak detect logic error ni selain kita test code kita Repeatedly Banyak kali kita test Test Kita run 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 Dan kita compare Output kita tu Betul ke tidak Okay So Take note Okay Error error Kita dah sebut error error ni kan Error ni sebenarnya Dipanggil sebagai Bug 
error is normally called as bug in programming terms, okay? And the process of removing bug is what we call it debugging. So, ingat, dalam istilah programming, error kita panggil bug. Bug ni lah, macam tu lah dalam gambar tu kan, macam serangga lah eh. Serangga dalam kita punya software, dalam kita punya program. Then the process uh, untuk kita hilangkan serangga tu, remove ataupun nak buang serangga tu adalah kita panggil debugging. So, please familiarize yourself with these terms. Bug, debugging, okay? Okay, so that is all for our lecture today. Okay, so that is all for our lecture video today. And... Sila jawab quizzes dan link sudah diberi dalam GC lecture. So, please open and answer the quizzes before the deadline due. Okay, so that is all from me. Thank you very much everyone and take care. Bye-bye.